Hi folks, I'm working on my Roketa 150cc scooter. Um, so I've been driving this thing around town the last week or so, and then I parked it. I didn't drive it for two days. I came out to start it, and it wouldn't start. Now get, it's been running fine. I haven't had any no start issues, anything. Just all of a sudden now it won't start. So I pulled the front cover off, pulled the spark plug boot off, and checked for spark, and I have no spark. This is a very common problem on these scooters. 99% of the time it's got a bad CDI box. CDI boxes generally they'll work fine while it's running and then when you shut it off and everything cools down when it goes from the hot to cold overnight sitting, the soldering points on the circuit boards tend to crack and that's what actually causes it to have no spark. Now the CDI on this one, this is what it looks like. It's very small. And it's an AC CDI. And on this scooter, it mounts right here on the side, inside this boot right here. Okay. And then these wires plug in. So the easiest way to check it, because a lot of people are like, how do you check these? Some people say they just carry a spare with them and then they just plug it in. But I'm going to show you a really cool trick I've learned from being a mechanic for years and years. This thing happens all the time with cars as well. The ignition modules go out and you can actually heat them up. So if the engine turns over but won't start, you want to take a heat gun and heat this up. Now I'm going to see because I heated this up last night because I had absolutely no spark and I heated it up and then it started. I want to see if it's going to start again this morning. So I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to plug it in and see if it starts. If it doesn't, then I can actually show you that uh look it doesn't work now and now it does work and so it'll be kind of a good video to show you so let's see try to start it right now uh, it's running that's funny okay so anyway as you can see it started and ran right now i had absolutely no spark last night and uh basically i'll still show you what i did so vehicle would not run would not start and i basically took a heat gun and I heated this up. You can buy these heat guns for $10 at Harbor Freight. Generally what it'll do is it'll heat up your soldering points and if you get it hot enough it'll actually it can actually repair it in some cases which as you can see mine's working right now. Whether it's gonna go out again anytime soon or not I don't know but okay first of all this is the rubber area this is the silicone area of this is what actually directly covers the circuit board this over here this plastic section the silicone is actually sitting inside so if you sit here and heat up on the plastic sure you're going to heat it up but the best way to heat it up is to go directly to the source go right here to the silicone and just sit here with this i have this chicago electric uh heat gun and then just sit here and i heat it up and literally i'm going to sit here it's really close here like this i'm going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it you don't want to melt your plug obviously but you want to get this really hot without melting anything and then you can turn it on its side heat this side here try not to melt the plastic cover turn it upside down after you get that other side while you're letting it cool off heat this side it's still going to help to heat this just try not to melt the cover keep heating it and then go back and literally you can touch it like that and you'll know it's freaking red hot when it's hot enough that you don't want to pick it up put a pair of gloves on okay once you get it nice and hot go ahead and take a pair of gloves carry it back over to your scooter now that you've really heated it up good plug it in see if it starts nine times out of ten all you have to do is heat these up good and hot and they'll start working again and that's how you get your scooter running again while you're waiting to get another CDI if you have a local hardware store or whatever, or scooter store where you can go pick one of these up, go pick one up. But as you can see, I heated the crap out of this last night, and it worked this morning. So I can actually go out and ride my scooter right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. I did order a new CDI for it, but for the time being, since it's working, I'm going to go ahead and keep using it until my new one gets here. Because I don't have any local scooter places close by, so I just went ahead and ordered a 
couple of different styles. I ordered the orange one, which cuts out the rev limiter, and I ordered the blue one, which has an even more advanced timing curve. I kind of just wanted to experiment with both of them. I think I have a whole uh, ten dollars. One of them came with a new uh, orange coil and the new blue CDI, which has got the advanced curve. And for another three dollars, I ordered the just orange one that looks identical to this one, but it's orange, and I ordered it direct from China. Some guys are saying those China ones are cheap and they break often, but as you can tell by this video, I'm going to have two or three different CDIs, and I'm just going to experiment with them. Um, there are some good name brand ones out there that I'm doing some investigating with. NYC is uh, one brand. It's an orange one with an aluminum um, case around it. Um, although I think aluminum absorbs heat, I don't know if it gets it away from the circuit board or if it actually is going to hold the heat of it. They also have another one called Casillo. It's spelled K A. Excuse me, C A S I L O, I believe, or I C A S I L. -O. Oh, I think is how it's spelled. But anyway, that's another one I've been hearing about. It's like from Germany or something like that. That's a decent one. Um, there are some other ones you can find online. Um, Naruku is another one. N-A-R-U-K-U, -U, I think. is another name brand one that's uh, supposed to be a good one. Um, there's some other generic ones I saw online that are adjustable timing. They'll have a little screw right here. And you can turn the screw to uh, advance and retard the timing. That might be one of the best ones to get if you can actually retard the timing back to stock setting. Um, you have a stock setting out of it and then advance it as needed rather than having constant advance. But I don't know. I don't know. There's lots of um, things going on out there about what hurts the engine. Is it the actual being advanced all the time makes it run a little hotter or is it not having a rev limiter um, people do stupid things but for a scooter I'm not gonna get the throttle stuck on it um, like from jumping like on a dirt bike and stuff and over rev it I'm just cruising it around town so I think the uh, performance one might give me a little bit quicker advanced timing um, which will actually give me a little bit more performance out of the hole so Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out. Again, it's just right here. There's a CDI. Right below it's the coil down here. It's just two wires, and they're pretty easy to access. Um, I don't know if changing the coil is really going to help me at all. They talk about the new coils have better spark and whatever. If you had higher compression, maybe, but just for a stock engine, the stock coil should be adequate. But my coil boot is a little bit dried out and rotting, so I figured it the new CDI order came with a new coil. Might as well throw it on. So, Alright guys, thanks.